Hi, I'm Zig. Um, I'm an interaction designer by training. Um, I consider myself as a uh, social designer, humanitarian designer, and but by profession, I'm a user experience designer. I'm a designer basically, if you want to put it bluntly like that. At the heart of what I do is to always um, place the people that I'm designing for at the centre of my work. Meaning taking into consideration about who my uh, users are, how they are, what are their needs and designing for that specifically. The bulk of my work is about putting um, the people that I'm designing for at the centre of my work. That means about uh, going about doing research, going about sitting down with people that I'm going to be designing for, having those long conversations to really uncover their needs, their dreams, their aspirations so that I can tailor something that is specifically for them. I work in the digital medium or digital world, if you put it that way. In, before this, I was designing a lot in the physical space. In architecture, I was designing a lot of those systems and how people behave in a spatial, you know, spatial setup. Um, but now I've shifted into the digital world, and essentially, it's still the same kind of approach about understanding the users at the heart of it. Yeah, design apps, I guess, um, designing processes of how you would fill up a form, uh, login pages to, to really get into the psyche of a user and how. Like sort of like understanding the mental model that they're going into, going through that whole experience and designing for that whole entire experience. Mm -hmm. um, that's essentially what I do. What is difficult? I mean, essentially, is because we are in the work of designing for people, and and I guess understanding people's needs, um, and then because most times we're trying to read, we're trying to understand people, and 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 I feel that is in a skill in itself. Because if you really can understand and really, if you really, really know what the person wants, um, that is one thing. That is one thing to understand what people want. But then for us as designers to understanding what they really, really need, there's a difference there. And then designing to, to courageously um, design for that, for their needs and not, you know, to be able to distinguish that. I think that in itself is very, very difficult at times. It's just a very blur um, line that intercepts very um, yeah, easily, I guess. It would. To want to improve as a designer is to first accept that you're not good, like you're not good yet or you're not a person who knows it all. Meaning being receptive about, hey yeah, you know, I, do, I don't know much like, or hey, you know, I, this, that bit of design or this discipline in design that I'm still a little bit, you know, rusty in or I would like to grow in. So I think to improve as a designer first to realise that or to recognise yes you are good at certain things give yourself a little bit of credit of course but also to be to know your place in a sense that I'm still not there yet and there's a lot of uh, a lot of things I want to learn specifically I guess then after that then it's really to be amongst people who are great at what they do uh, to surround yourself with people who are who are just amazing at what they do and to rub shoulders with them and get into projects with them, collaborate with them, have conversation with them, get inspired, essentially, um, and you then will have the motivation to really want to be as good as them or even better. Mm -hmm. um, and I think importantly also to not see people who are better, better than you as competition, but more of a motivation or inspiration. That's how I always see it.